Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Dreamfall, The Longest Journey. On the last time, we got on a blimp, bitch. Yeah. And, um, we're talking to this Brian guy. Yeah. Uh, I honestly don't care, so I'm just when gonna thank him to and leave. When do we get to the Dark People City? From what our feathered friend said, it'll be another day or so. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just feeling a bit restless. Well, there's not much to do here. You can look around the cabin for a bit, talk to Crow, or take a nap back in the hold. There's a bed there. Thanks. Maybe I will. Or maybe I won't. Ah, oh, fuck it, I will. That is just a blimp. What the hell is the other thing? I have no idea. Maybe it's just for balance. Uh. Oh, that we see your theme. Right. <laughs> I'm in the woods again. Only this time, we took a blimp. We didn't take no pansy Welcome boat. Welcome to our city. The White of the Kin is expecting you. Ah. Who? You again. That's the White Dragon, Zoe. How did she know I was coming? I stopped asking those kinds of questions a long, long time ago. You just have to start buying into stuff like destiny and precognition, or you'll go nuts. She waits in the library. Follow me. Right. right. Okay, no point in asking any questions, is there? Absolutely not. It'll only make your head hurt. No, it won't, because I am intelligent. And I want to know things. Hey, Crow. Slow down! Where the bloody hell did Crow just come from? <laughs> or did he just... Yep, there he is. Yep, I just didn't see him last time. Alright. Why does he keep stopping? Why doesn't he just like... Fly all the way down or... Sit on my shoulder or something? Oh sh... Did he just fly through the floor? Jesus Christ. Oh, what? Oh, there we go. Where the hell the bloody hell did you get in front of me? Must have been chewing that cut, the transition. Ha! Yeah. Hi, I'm Zoe. How fascinating. You're here. And yet you're not. Can I touch you? Can you... What do you mean by... I who's that? I need an adult. Oh, I forgot. This is my friend Brian Westhouse. He's a... Um... A traveller, I guess. You sound... So familiar. You've heard my name before? Your presence, your being, sounds familiar. And also... Also disconcerting. I feel a prickling on my skin. Disconcerting. Hmm. That's what a word. What do you call it? Goosebumps? My apologies, ma'am. I don't wish to perturb you. Maybe I should just leave you... No, please. Stay. Perhaps it's... I'm sure it's just me. You see, I don't understand this body yet. I don't know what any of these feelings mean. I apologize. You're most welcome here, Traveller. Thank you, ma'am. I'll leave the two of you alone while I peruse this magnificent library. You've come to me for the same reason April came to me not long ago. You're stuck. I'm stuck here in Arcadia, yes. I need to go back to Stark. But this isn't the only place you're stuck. You're stuck in life, like driftwood to a river. You lack direction. You lack faith. 
Maybe so, but that's why it's important that I go back home. People there need me, and I want to be there for them. I don't want to be adrift anymore. I want to be where I'm needed the most. And that will bring you home, Zoe. Your commitment to your friends, your belief in yourself, and your abilities. Faith will bring you where you're needed the most. How? It's easy. You're not really here. What? That's what you said earlier. But it doesn't make sense. I'm right here. Yes. And no. Stop being cryptic. You're unlike anyone I've ever met. You belong to the story time. Okay, now you're being cryptic. I've had enough of that. <laughs> I can't no take shit. any more riddles. Just tell me what it means. I'm sorry. It's not cryptic to me. It just is. With all due respect, I just want to get home. I want to help my friends. I want to stop the bad guys from winning. I want to... <laughs> awful lot of words I want there, to love. be myself again. The last time I was here in Arcadia, I fell asleep. And when I woke up, I was back home in Stark. How did I do that? When I fell asleep on the airship on my way here, I didn't disappear. That's because you didn't dream. If you dream the right dream, it becomes reality. You can go anywhere you wish. To go back to your own world, you just have to wake up. You mean this is all a dream? This isn't a dream, but you're dreaming. I'm confused again. All I need to do is go to sleep and dream about home, and then I'll wake up and be home. Maybe. I've never met anyone like you. I only know that there are some who have a strong connection with the world of dreams. And you are one of them. Mm -hmm. I'll just have to take your word for it. Help me fall asleep. Help me dream or wake up or whatever it is you said I need to do to get home. Time's running out. I have to be where I'm needed the most. Come here. You must find her, Zoe. You must help her. Wherever she is. That's where you're needed the most. Yeah. Where, yeah. where did she hmm. go? What did you do to her? Did you use magic on her? I didn't do anything to her, funny bird. She left this place on her own. But, but she just vanished. I know. Isn't it fascinating? There's no one else like her. She's special. I've never met a human girl who hasn't been special. For all I know, they've all got strange powers and important destinies. I just hope she's okay. Most interesting. Oh god, what's he planning? Crossroads. What, are these like chapters or something? I don't know. Home? Mm hmm. Kinda gathered that. Where am I? Oh, I have control. <laughs> Interesting looking fireworks. Closed and locked. I don't think there's anyone in there. Closed and locked. Even if I knew how to, you know, drive a boat, I still don't think I'd brave those murky waters. 
Who doesn't know how to row a boat? Seriously. It's the most simplest Isn't thing that? ever. April? April! to make another run south before the ice breaks, though I'm guessing Mercuria is out of the question. We lost some good people. We got careless. Bah! We were as careful as we could be. We just got unlucky. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Mm -hmm. Let's just hope we got enough intelligence out of it to justify the losses. I wish I could say that's the case. The fact is, they're getting too strong for us. They tore us apart down there. Easy as... Ah, quit your whining, woman. The raven I know is tougher yeah. than that. There's enough doom and gloom in this place already. Which is why I'm going back. To Mercuria? Are you sure that's wise? We stay here, we go there. It's all the same. They're coming and they won't stop. Not until we strike at their heart. Mercuria, the tower. Ha! <laughs> the tower! It'll take more than you and your band of merry rebels to topple that one, Raven. And even if you do, you think that'll stop them? Probably. No. We need to stay huh? strong. Why Build not? our allegiances, recruit more people, and keep the enemy from our doorstep. Time and patience will decide the victor. No, it we don't won't. have time. Look at what happened in Mercuria. We have to act now. We have to take the war to them. Yeah. I'm inclined to agree, Raven. But we're not strong enough. Not yet. If you stay here, we can train more people, build our strength, and... And talk about how someday we'll crush the enemy and take back our lands and our cities. That's what we do best. Talk. They murdered my friends. They arrested our most trusted ally in Mercuria, and they're probably moving north even now. And you say we should wait? I'm done waiting. Yeah, screw that. Ah, the Azadi don't have a clue where we are. Trust me, Raven. We're safe here. Besides, you. no one but me and my boys can navigate the rivers and swamps between us and the Bay of Fire. Even if the Azadi should learn of our whereabouts, the scouts will give us two days' warning. We'll sink their boats before they even know what hit them. Even so, I can't just sit here and wait. I have to do something. I swear, Raven, you'll get yourself killed one of these days. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if that's not what you want. But if it's south you want to go, if you want to take your war to the Azadi, then fine. You'll have my boat. I'll take you where you want to go. Now, you'll have to excuse me. We still have to unload the grain and move all the supplies into storage. I'll come by later and give you a hand. I just have a few people I need to speak with first. Okay. Oh. All right, then. Ooh, ladder. Even here, people keep their doors closed and bolted. The Azadi have taught us to fear and distrust each other. That really didn't look that safe. Hey. We've all lost our homes and our lands, but thanks to you, Raven, there's still hope that we will see them again someday. Yep. I never wanted this, but the enemy left us with everyone locks their doors. Oh, doy. Everyone locks. Alright. Everyone. Oh, shut up. Didn't see that. <laughs> hey there. How are you doing? Kara. A moment, April. Kara. Please make sure the herbs are distributed to the lieutenants. They are each responsible for their group getting the medicine they need. April. 
Thank the balance you escaped, Mercuria, and that Bryn and Chowan made it here with the supplies. Your efforts are much appreciated. Kara, about Benri May, we need to do... She put her life on the line for us. We won't forget that any time soon. We'll sing her song at the tables tonight. The Azadi will be keeping her alive until they can ship her west. They like to have a show trial before executing their prisoners. If I can take a dozen people with me south, I can... You intend to take on the entire Azadi army by yourself? No, April. This war will have its victims, and you'll have to learn to live with that. You may have a death wish, but not everyone shares your lack of faith in the future. In time, we shall prevail. I've dedicated my life to fighting the Azadi, Kara. What makes you say that I have no faith? You've already given up your life. You don't fight because you want to destroy them. You fight to destroy yourself and your demons. Granted, your ferocity and guidance have strengthened us. The enemy fear and curse your name, and you've made them tread more cautiously in the north. But Good. both you and I know you're not doing this for any greater cause. You're doing this because it's the only thing you have left. And I can't have you taking our people with you on a suicide mission. So we let Benrime rot in prison, is that it? We let them take her to their country where she'll die because she helped us? Yes, we do. Benrime wasn't... isn't stupid. She knew the risks. She knew it was a dangerous game to play, and she played it as safe as she could. Unlike you. I don't accept that. I can't leave her to die. Accept it or not, you're not taking anyone south. We have enough trouble protecting our homes and our supplies. We can't afford another setback. They're not your people. They make their own decisions. That they do. And you may find that for once, you're on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other matters to attend to. I'll see you at dinner tonight, April. And thank you again for bringing us the supplies. Without them, we wouldn't have lasted through the winter. All right. Uh, again, quite slow on time now. All right, yeah, gotta go. I'll see you guys next time on Dreamfall, The Longest Journey. Bye-bye.